Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to program in Visual Basic in Excel. Let's open up Microsoft Excel. We'll click on our Start button. Go to All Programs. Let's find Microsoft Office and just launch Excel. Now, once Excel is uh, finally opened up, we're going to open up the Visual Basic Editor. The way we do this is by holding down the Alt key and we're just going to press F11, which brings up the Visual Basic Editor within Excel. This allows us to create a custom code that will actually run uh, in our Excel spreadsheets. Now, I'm going to write a function by going to Insert. I'm going to choose Module. And as you can see here, I have a new uh, Visual Basic module. So I'm going to put a function in here called Run Me. And that's basically what it's going to do is just be a function that we run. And uh, I'm going to begin uh, writing a simple program here. So now that my little program is completed, as you can see here, I've created uh, several integers here, row and column and value. I've created another object that's pointing to our current worksheet. And the way that I did that was I set it to the active workbook uh, sheets uh, and then sheet one. Now here I have a loop, which loops from one to five, both on the row value and the call value, multiplies them together and stores that in value. And then within the current cell that I'm in, row and, and column, I say uh, the value row times the value column equals, and then the, the result of those two multiplying together. So basically I'm just gonna build a little multiplication table. Uh, so let's close out of our Visual Basic Editor. And we have to have a way to uh, make that code work. So I'm going to insert, and I'm just going to put a little shape on here that kind of looks like a button. Just like that. And I'm going to assign a macro to this button by right-clicking on it, saying assign macro. We're going to create a new macro. And all that macro is going to do is say module1.runme, which is the name of our function. Now, if I close out of the Visual Basic Editor, click on my little uh, uh, button here. As you can see, it's just fill, filled in my multiplication table. One times one equals one, one times two equals two, and so on here. So we can see that five times three equals 15, and such and such. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to program Visual Basic in Microsoft Excel.